social distancing out here on the range just outside the Triple C Ranch. The sheep are settling down for the night, a healthy six feet apart. Yep, it sure is beautiful. Just look at those stars. A quiet night on the Triple T. Sleep tight on you sheepies. Sleep tight on you doggies. Tight under starry blue skies. It's night and you're sleepy. It's night and you're tired. Close up those droopy. Twenty questions, Betty Jo. Okay. Is she bigger than a bread box? Yep. Does she prance about the ranch wearing red cowboy boots? Yep. Does she tend to avoid her morning chores with hanging out in the privy in a tub full of bubbles? Little Regina O'Malley. Hey, no fair, Mom. I have seventeen more questions I could ask. I declare all the time Little Red spends a mine or so in the mirror, you'd think it was a Saturday Night Social. If that girl used half her brain learning her books and half her spunk during her tours, she might amount to more than a bag of sheep's wool. Morning, Ms. O'Malley. Morning, Betty Jo. Looks like it will be a fine day for Sharon. Maybe not. It ain't the sheep. It's... Little Red. You want me to find her? She's probably just fixing her hair. She's always just fixing her hair. A little girl in uniform, a charm, a boy in blue. Later on, she's so wind up that cute dresses just won't do to make the boy tea. Stop dead in their tracks. So if she's sick on dead. 
Dancing chicken, blue jeans, may catch a feather's eye. Filling hair on the branch while the sun is shining high. As if she wants to miss her to do more than just stare. Yes, if she's keen on Frank or Dean, she better cut her haircut. Beautiful women are born hair makers. You can help yourself. Hide in your lips and cheeks in this lovely nature. Can you just a little help the wind may be deceptive? It's just a little more love. A little mascara and just a touch of powder. Mizzo, Mizzo. What now? Lordy, it's like, how do I look? Is my hair sticking out? Mizzo. Don't tell me, Lex. The sheep have run off again. Yes, ma'am. Betty Jo, find my leg, would you? Right. Wait, Mo, what do I do with her once I find her? Here. See if you could trade her this for a hairbrush. Then teach her how to clean a sheep's saw. Come on, Lex. How about we fix her a nice ponytail instead? Ugh. Ah! Cookie! You gave me a start. What do you mean sneaking up on me like that? Is Ms. O'Malley gone yet? You just missed her. Marine! Mo! Shh. No! I don't want her to see me. You don't? I mean, I do. Let me get this straight. You do want to see her, but you don't want her to see you a wanting to see her. Is that right? Right. Cookie! Have you lost your chili beans? What in the triple T are you talking about? I wish I knew. Shucks. Miss Betty Jo, lately I can't even tell my bacon from my eggs. Just this morning, I boiled the oatmeal and fried the pancakes. Lordy, and I reckon I don't feel so bad about missing breakfast. Cookie, sounds to me like you're sweet on Marine O'Malley. I reckon I am. But how can I get her to be sweet on me? Listen, I've gained five pounds since I hired on here on all the sweets you dish up. Just let some of that sweetness spill out of your mouth and then you're spilling. I can make you a cake, I can bake you a pie With meringue on the top, more than ten inches high I can sprinkle sugar on it, serve it up in a bean But the one thing I can't do is I can't talk sweet I can cook up some peaches, I can cook up some pears in a flaky turnovers that are lighter than air. I can drizzle icing on it, honey, that's a real treat. But the one thing I can't do is I can't talk sweet. I can melt chocolate in the wink of an eye. Ice it on a cake to make a grown man cry. But when it comes to spouting out sweet words from my lips, I'd rather stick the sticky buns and widen your hips. I can glaze you a donut till it's smoother than glass. Slap the sprinkles on top while I'm shaking my. Do you think I put too much salt on my pie crust? I can grind the spices up to make it complete, but the one thing I can't do, the one thing he can't do, the one thing I can't do is I can't talk sweet. Cookie, you want a little feminine advice? A woman wants sweet talking, not sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Hey, fellers, take a look. Why, it's Cookie, the cook. And he's reading a book. It looks my shook. Good 
one. Third one. <laughs> hey, Lex. I'm Lex. He's Lex. I'm Hex. He's Lex. He's Tex. I'm Wex. He's Lex. He's Tex. He's Wex. And I'm Rex. Sorry, fellers. I always get you brothers mixed up. Some folks do. Actually, quite a few. Yep, that's true. And the uh, who's who? <laughs> oh, get out of here. Come on, Cookie. We was just fun with you. What's eating you, Cookie? Fellers, I done lost my heart to Mizzo. Oh, no, not. God. Worse yet, I done lost my mind too. You seen it yourself. Just this morning, I ate fried vittles. No telling what I'll do for supper. Fellers, I need to get up the courage and sweet talk Mizzo. But I... Well, Cookie, you got the answer right in your hands. What do you mean? All your sweet recipes. You mean... Let your cookbook do the sweet talking. But how do I know it'll work? Try it on some of the ranch gals first. Look, here comes Judy. Go ahead and eat her up with one of all your recipes. Fellers! Fellers! If we have to clean up after those pea brain brothers one more time, I swear I'll... Speaking of the coyotes... Don't even think about it. Ever. Talk to the hand. Cookie, you're a decent feller. What do you mean hanging out with these varmints? Howdy, honey. Nice bun. <gasps> Fellers, I don't think it's working. care what mama says, Bitsy. You just can't rush beauty. When it comes to making a fashion statement, more is more. Confidentially, Bitsy, mama could spend a few more minutes in front of the mirror herself. It's okay for me to blush, brush, and go, but at her age, we're talking major repair and maintenance. <gasps> Hold still, Bitsy. Come on now. There. Look in the glass, girl. Someone has surely made a big mistake Called me Regina when I'm Princess Grace Give me my crown and my scepter of gold Find me my kingdom before I get old Triple T Princess of Sage Brush Why? When I was born, the nurse she switched the tags. Some gals in satin, well, I'm stuck in rags. Soon as I find her, I'll trade her my spurs. For my true station in diamonds and furs. have a sheep for a pet. That's it. Bitsy, if I'm not really a sheep rancher's daughter, then you must not really be a sheep. Under all that wool, you must be a... Come 
on, Betsy. Looks like it's Sharon time with the triple T. Hey, everybody, see Betsy this morning. Little Red fixed her right up after breakfast. I think they're headed for Miss O's magic mirror. Uh oh, another triple T makeover? Not again, poor Bitsy. Poor oh, Bitsy, poor us. Here comes Aunt Penny, Aunt Penny, and Aunt B. They're nice. They're crazy. They're old. They're here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Not today. There's nothing good about this morning. Now, Penny, calm yourself. Calm myself with a no good varmint and loco on the loose. Now, hush up while I tell you what we're gonna do. Penny, you hold up the pitcher. Now, looky here. First, I drew this so you can be on the lookout for El Loco. First, El Loco's got himself a big old cowboy hat. So what? Law folks around here got big old cowboy hats. Let me finish. I'm just saying, even I've got a big old cowboy hat. Penny! Sorry. El Loco's got himself some big old ears sticking out of that big old cowboy hat. Oh! That's right. He can't hide those ears. And he always wears a plaid shirt, blue jeans, and cowboy boots. But no. And he's got himself a big t long tail hanging down behind him. Oh. That's right, he can't hide that tail. But the biggest way to spot a loco is by his big old claws. His claws, another big but I want to get close enough to spot those. You don't have to get close. They is hot pink. Hot pink? Hot pink? That's just crazy talk. Crazy is right. Why do you think he's called El Loco? Oh. Now, ladies, y'all stick together and El Loco won't bother you. There is safety in numbers. Now, who wants to play Run, Sheepy, Run and Drive the Ranchers Crazy? Yay! I don't know. I feel like El Loco is closer than we think he is. Fiddlesticks, Penny. You can spot that crazy coyote a mile away. See, they call me El Loco. Catching a flock, but there's always one that strays. I can count on it. When she does, it's adios, little sheepy, them, and bueno, apetito, me. Right on cue. Bitsy, get over here. Come on now. You just gotta get used to your new look. If I didn't know better, I'd swear you was the prettiest French poodle I ever did see. This is too much. A French poodling sheep. I'll be eating gourmet. 
But how will I get her alone on the trail? Bitsy, what do you say we take the shortcut to town and show off our new Coey furries to Granny O? Cease is too easy. But I need a head start. Bitsy, let's take a few minutes to pack in a basket of cookies, bread, and gooseberry jam for Granny. This is too perfect. How do you like your lamb pate, Signora Loco? I'll have mine with sourdough bread. Hold your horses. These will buy me all the time that I need. not right. They're wound up tight. They had a big fright. They ain't nothing in sight. Howdy folks. Looks like you got your hands full today. We'd be glad to use yours if you can help us grab these critters. Glad to. Deputy Coco, after all you certified schooling, what do you make of this? These sheep are demonstrating the classic premonition phenomenon. Phenomenal what? These sheep sense the presence of a predator. Coyote? El Loco. Here? Now? Recently. She's right. There's coyote tracks all over. Marine! Mo! I can't find Little Red anywhere. She and Bitsy made a messier makeup. Ran a cookie pantry and took off. I'm worried. Betty Jo, you don't know the half of it. Now, Maureen, she's got a good head on her shoulders. A head full of curls and fancy notions. We gotta find her. I don't mean to add to your worries, Miss O'Malley, but Sheriff, someone has tampered with the sign to town. <laughs> That child's in trouble. Round up a posse. Looks like that loco is back to his old tricks.
teach you about manners? When a grown up talks, you listen. Listen close and careful, like. Cause we ain't just reminiscing. We can give you sound advice, like. When you get a present, say thank you. When you want a cookie, say please. When you hurt your sister, say sorry. When you burp your turnip, say pardon me. When you stand in line, you say you first. When you head to bed, say goodnight. If you're smart, you'll always mind your manners. And you'll find the world is treating you right. Now you try it. should be here any minute. Now bring the trunk with me. Don't you know anything about social distancing? My lunch will be here any minute. But I need a disguise. Granny O, it's me, Little Red and Bitsy, calling on you. Right on time. Picked up a plate to go. We brought you a basket of goodies from Cookie. His special gooseberry jam and sourdough bread. Mm, I can't wait. Why, Granny O, what big eyes you have. I see better with my Bible book. Why, Granny O, what big ears you have. I was going to go get that checked out next time we saw dog gives. Why, Granny O, what big, sharp, pointy teeth you have. And look, no cavities. <coughs> now, Keith, Keith, all our horses are French poodles, Keith. Wait a minute. How many of you are there? Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. so fast, ladies. Granny, I think you forgot your manners. You left without saying goodbye. Good work, Cookie. I always thought you carried a mean span. 
a spoon? He caught me with a spoon? Take him away, Deputy Coco. Yes, ma'am. You have the right to remain silent. Well, haven't I heard this a thousand times before? Don't mess with me. Let's go. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law or other proceedings. Mama, Lil' Red. Now's your chance, Cookie. Say it again, just like we practiced it earlier. Right. Evening, Ms. O'Malley. Beautiful night for a bowl of hot chili. Are Granny O and Lil' Red okay? They're a bit shaken, but they'll be fine thanks to the greatest cook I ever did see. Cookie, I don't know how to begin to thank you for saving my mom and little girl. Night, Miss Beautiful. Hot evening for a bull of O'Malley. Holy guacamole. Oh, Cookie, I'm so grateful. Thanks, Sally. That sweet talking worked real good. Let's go, folks. We got something to celebrate tonight at the Triple T Saturday Night Social. Well, I reckon I thank you properly. Yes, ma'am. You sure did. Cookie. Once that year, something sweet smelling this air. Sweet triple bloom just from her head fragrant and rare. I don't see two bits or death or dimmers. Spring may be months away, but I could swear there's lilies. So what could it be on the breeze whisper to me? No, not the leaves or pansies. I think I see no. It's not daisies or even rose. No, it's you. Not a pie, apple dumplings, gooseberry jam, rum spice cake, six layers high. It's not the scent of the chicory beans, ground in my cup when my coffee is deep, or the bacon sizzling with the scrambling eggs. What could it be? Sending me reeling with each little breath that I take. It's not fresh baked sourdough bread or chocolate cake. Could it be gingerbread cookies or a pineapple twist? Baked to a crisp nose, you, my little darling. Under I don't know what to say. I know. 
How about you think me on this side? We'd best be getting back to the ranch for a Saturday night social. Yes, ma'am. You're right. Cookie, I'm sure I'll feel mighty thank you to you out on the dance floor. Yes, ma'am. Sheriff, are you sure about letting a criminal like El Loco serve up the punch at the Saturday night social? Deputy Coco recommended it. I know, but El Loco's dangerous. Not in the least, just a tall tale. For all his mischief, he has never done it. He has never caught a sheep or done any harm. Rumor has it, he's a vegetarian. Well, I'll be. And Deputy Coco says having to serve punch at the social is the latest trend in law enforcement. Ain't that right, Deputy? Yes, Sheriff. Community service has provided 97% effective in reforming mild criminal behavior. You don't say. No, no. Don't be sheepish. Try it. Go on. Now, who else wants to try smooth rattlesnake? Grab your partners, one and all. It's time for the Triple T Social Ball. Yeah! 